Hi, we're here with Doris, and Doris was just telling us about a new business venture she started with her husband. Well, the business venture began with me writing a book to help baby boomers go out there and travel more. Because when I was traveling, my husband and I were traveling around the world, we didn't find very many resources to help us. There are a lot for very young, uh, going around the world, taking a gap year from your work, your career, your education, but very little for people my age group, which is 47 years old to 65 year old. What were, what were you needing that you were not finding out there? Uh, everything from uh, alternative places to for accommodations and transportation that are cheaper than you know the name brand, international name brands, uh, how to find uh, cheaper airfares, uh, really everything, how, how to get authentic experiences to meet with the people that you might not get if you're just always on cruises and tours, which a lot of people assume people, uh, boomers or seniors, that that's all they want. But th what they're really looking for is true experiences where they can really meet people, get to talk to people, learn a lot from their experiences. They want to do things. They don't want to be just watching or looking at things. They don't want demonstrations. They want to be part of the act. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. They want to be part of the action. So that's a lot of what my book's about. And since then, I've created a series of little passport-sized booklets, and these deal with little tips for travel on how to stay safe and uh, avoiding crime and health problems, uh, how to eat better. Around the uh, world. Around the world. Uh, in our five years of living and traveling around the world, we've never had food poisoning, and we ate from food carts everywhere. We love wow. street food and all that. Um, how to get authentic experiences. Um, everything from social etiquette, a little bit of everything. Again, it's to get Americans traveling more, not to be so afraid to go out there. Right. And the last little thing, this is just a little tip I have for people, is to put together your own little kits to help you sleep better on planes, trains, buses, in cheap motels or hotels, uh, anywhere. And these are just little things I picked up at Target and put together to demonstrate. And here is a little health and safety kit a little uh, magnifying glass so you can check for bed bugs, especially New York has a big problem with that and I never go anywhere without my little magnifying glass, a door jam that you can stick under your door anywhere so someone can't can enter your hotel room while you're in your room, uh, you know, gel, I mean a lot of things that we know we should be carrying around but we don't think of it. By putting it in a little kit, it's always there ready. You leave it in your suitcase when you put your suitcase away at the end of your trip. It's there. It's ready for your next trip. I can get a sense of how prepared you've been before each one of the trips and how you learned for each one of the following ones. I've learned a lot. I can tell you that much. I've learned a lot and now I want to share that knowledge because I've enjoyed traveling so much. It's really a transformational experience and I think um, Americans need to learn to go out there not be so afraid of travel. It truly is not as dangerous in, out in the world as we seem to feel that it is. Doris, how can people get a hold of you? My website is Baby Boomers Traveling. That's Boomers with an S, so babyboomerstraveling.com. And I have a second site where I have all my experiences from my travels at dorisgallon.com. Wonderful. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank you.